Electric Swatch. This is it. Now, so we're going to talk about a topic that has been raging not just across the various social media platforms, but even amongst family and friends and you know, people from Canada, everybody say, yo, this and some have said that. And this is something we talked about already. The general topic, so never touch money. I'm talking about the carnival video them of uh, a sister in a wine and bubble pan squaddy while he's on duty in a uniform. People on different side of the fence. Never tell you why the people them who are presenting the most logical argument. Never tell you why, even though on the right, in an Iron Man world, on the wrong. Don't ask me if that makes sense. Right. I don't make the rules since I tell you no I actually show you the video. Say, Squaddy, I get. Squaddy, I hang on for dear life. You already know. Say, it's a double standard. You know that. So, I want to choose to pretend. Otherwise. Now, before I go into this, just in case you're new to the channel for whatever reason, and maybe your brother or your auntie just, just has anyone one link to the video for the first time, you should know I talk about these matters before. Tell them already, say, enough of the whole equality argument. It's just people repeating what them see on uh, foreign platforms and where them learn at the institutions that you know, are heavily influenced by foreign. Let's get down to it and just start the offending primarily. We know enough Jamaican man are simp, right? Girl clown, you tell me this. Girl clown, the virus rampant. Okay, you see them beat chest and man a yard and I tell you they say a road. A yard a different thing. You must say, paternity fraud is a serious issue all around the world. Iron Man tap the charts and all that too. Get the most. Every Iron Man is this big time champion, Jackie Man Yard. No boy can't touch my girl, no man. No boy can't this and if I, and a man, man fling, man fling body all night and turn up on the, the knee glide all night. The group of man get the most Jackie from earth. Right. So we know it's all mouth. See, you know, if you understand, one thing we know with woman, you know, woman always look out for them interests. Even if that means siding with woman, you know, you know, then think about it from a female perspective. Okay, how will this benefit us? Alright, this is not right, you know. But if that you come in, it'll go hurt us as a group. So, you know, I'm not upon it. Let me tell you privately, so they're saying the right, you know. Let me tell you privately, say, no, so this shouldn't be still. But publicly, they think about their interest. And that's what man work. I'm not telling you why. Man will sell out for them interest. Men will sell out male interest in general. See, I can see him simping, you know. We could go into it, I'm going to show you the video. Let me say, squaddy. I'll make a grab, you know. Make a grab. One piece of wine in. The system body look good still. If you call a speed, a speed, the system. The system body look good. I remind me of the hills. You know, in the blue mountain. Round up and curve up and go on, and come back and go down, so. What? We still have to talk about the ugly reality of the continued double standards that we see in our society when it comes down to consent and, you know, assault and all the words that people use. Let me explain something to them. None of them things don't apply to men. When you people talk about harassment and they mean against women, not against men because men don't count. Men are not people, men are not humans. She gets a choice, you don't. Let me show you the video. Alright. Now, I don't know if you woke up and come send more guidelines, one, all that kind of sitting. I'm going to describe it, I'm going to show you. Let's get into it. How much time I tell them that equality is a me? Whenever you hear where that sister and I tell about them believing equality, from the day upon wall until now, I've never seen anybody. 
I'm not about from the highly, highly, highly educated to no educated ever been consistent when it comes down to equality. So I realize that it is used conveniently when a certain type of female wants to get an upper hand in a situation. For example, she wants to pump in the amount and she don't want to get back at home. So you get pump in the amount. If you raise your hand, you, hey, you can't do that. You can't raise your hand against a woman. According to the rules of equality, there will be no difference. Suddenly it's, oh, well, we're not equal now. I actually have to do all of these things to you and you can't be back. It's like the ultimate trump card. It's like a uno card where you're guaranteed to win. Gender-based discrimination all these things. Sounds cool, right? But it's not gender-based discrimination. That one is used... Again, conveniently, when you go to a bar or a club and you see ladies free, men pay hundred dollar. That is literally gender-based discrimination. That is the it cannot get no more literal than that. Ladies free, men pay this amount. Have you ever seen a group of women protesting that they must pay the same amount a month for going to one club? Have you ever seen this? Here's the difference. Men accept the game. Matter of fact, we even support gender-based discrimination against us because this is how man start look on it, yeah? By using the same club example. This is how man look on it, yeah? Ladies free. Man pay a thousand. That means to be a girl that go full up in there. No man go down at the house of parliament go ball say, yo, the thing that Gender-based discrimination just because I'm a man, I have to pay. We, we celebrate right, gender-based discrimination against us. Right, because all we I think about is that mean more niggle eye and more titty for look pan. We argue to maintain discrimination against us. Here's the thing. Men have two heads, small one and a big one. The small one isn't woke. The small one can't get educated. The small one that beats him about nothing. It only has one thing on feet, man. The smaller one is always willing to act against the bigger one's interest. Men have two heads. The small head is always willing to act against right, the interest of the big head. Right, which is why if the bigger head not regulate the small head, you'll find yourself in some situation. Some serious situation. Because at the small head, when time we see ladies free and man this and more, at the small head make we say, yeah man, we like that. The small head said that. If, if the big head was thinking, that's a well on. Don't them people say them again, it's gender-based discrimination. And everybody should be treated the same, regardless of their gender. You know what I'm saying? In other video, you see the squad up on duty. Squad the discipline bad still, you know. Discipline bad. That right there, a matter of fact, it more remind me of a soldier than a police. Now, when I finish using the cadets, and well disciplined on duty in a uniform. And you see these things, I will laugh, and I will say, Yeah, man, you look good, man, and why should I give my wine? And... But let's take up with the entertainment side and look upon this. Without the X-rated tinted glasses. What do you think would happen to you as a man if you saw a female squaddy on duty and you go grab her neck and start wiping her or grab her breast them or grab anything on her and start and she just did it and you know, she not she not party back with you now you just did that do your thing panar do you understand what would happen to you? Do you know how society would call for not just your hand them chop off, but even your organs them uh, forget removed and fling away? That's when you would hear about consent and respect. You would hear about the, the molestation. You would hear about. You'd hear about um. Assault, you'd hear about, you know, 
who is a victim and you hear about none of these things matter when it's the other way around. In case you've been living under a rock, women touch up and make sexual suggestions to men and even at the workplace. They talk about at the workplace you know, men harassing them female co-workers. Of course, a serious issue that should be addressed, but you don't talk about it. go the other way too. Women harass and touch up their male co-workers too. In the workplace, many females are sexually aggressive, but it's just that the man no go down an HR go say nothing. Cause if he go down an HR go say nothing, then go to laugh off him. Or if HR no laugh, the rest of the company go laugh off him. You think Carlton can go down and tell nobody say no, send me that walk past and, 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 she, and she can rub down my chest and, and, and grab me from she grab my seat bag and I tell her say, you know, me, me know I should do this and, and she still like, oh, come on, touch, touch me up. People that be like, you are sprat. Because you feel like it. We could talk about the quote unquote debate now. The people them who say, this is an example of a massive double standard where a woman can't touch up man, do anything I want with a man, and man must accept it because you feel like it. Alright, you're correct. You're right, but you're wrong. You're right in principle, in theory, in argument, with logic, with rationale, you're 100% correct. However, you're trying to use logical arguments in an illogical society. That won't hold up in Ariman. According to Ariman logic, not real logic, but Ariman logic, Arimat says that if you're straight, you feel like it. Now, let's turn this back around. Imagine a man using the same female constable. A man did have feet up on squad here, grab her by her neck and him something there. And him say, oh, you're straight? And she say, yeah. And him say, well, if you like it, do you know what would happen to him? Them that nail him to the cross upside down. You're, you're straight, so if you like it, does not apply the other way around. It only applies when the woman I do something to the man. You listen out there, you Jamaican male. Listen carefully. Do not for a second think you can do what you see in this video. I guarantee you it not going to end well. Do not for a second think that, oh, I just think, you know, we can just you know, go, like grab up and put on your neck and wind up. Oh, because everybody has said it's just a little fun. That's what they say. It's just a little fun. Right? It's just a little fun. So you might get tempted in other things. So, oh, well, it's just a little fun. And since we're all equal, we can go do the same thing to our woman. No, you would. Keep your hand empty yourself. Keep your hand empty yourself. As a matter of fact, after you ask, you can send. Ask three more times. Just to be safe. Because me, I tell you, you end up on the news. Do not fall for it. Only woman can get away with this. Only woman can get away with this. Don't see no woman. Right, forget about even the uniform argument and pan duty. Don't see no woman on board. Oh, well, me she up. Me she have a boyfriend. Me she like, man, alright, me go feel her up now and then. I go put me on the can grind. Would anyone party? Would up on the road? Don't do it, youth. Don't do it. My tell us it now going to end well. You will be branded pervert molly. You'll be all over the, you'll be social media, you'll be a pariah. Them things never work for man. Them say, if my man, I live straight, even if he has no problem with a woman I do that to him. So you know I say, oh well, if she's a woman and she's straight, she doesn't have no problem, I do this to her. Don't do it. I try to see, try save one of the jail house trip, you know. I try to save one of the firing from the job. I try to save one going viral for being pissed and pervert, you know. You're hearing many women say, since him a man, and if he like woman, him feel like it. So you might go think now, say, since we're all equal, this logic apply the other way around. It doesn't. That is irony logic. Irony match is not real match. It's not real logic. People say, okay, well, why him never just move then? Again, you see a female police officer on duty and you gonna go and do this to her 
and then a group of men said, well, why she never moved then? Do you know what would happen to those men? Who said that? All them when I mother this to one them. What do you mean she should have moved? So now you're blaming the This is what them that said. So now you're blaming the victim? Why should she move? He should not touch her. That's what you should talk about. He shouldn't touch her in the first place. She didn't give any consent. Don't you see her working? Why are you talking about she should move? He should move. He's the pervert. That's what they would say. But that doesn't apply to men. So what the man says, well, so what? Then he should have moved then. Remember, the whole victim blaming only works when the victim is a female. As a matter of fact, men can't be victims. Did you know that? Men can't be victims of anything. Men are just beasts. Right? Just beasts in the wilderness that you know, just drop dead and life just goes on. Victim blaming is another thing that only applies to women. If a man goes a certain place and certain things reach him, the first thing people say is then where him lad around them and what's us around this state. Nobody says, oh, we can't blame the victim. Them say, where him lad around this? Where him lad around this? In she know better. You can't say, if something happened to a woman and you say, where should I go on this? She shouldn't go on this. You're victim blaming. You're a monster. I'm just trying to save you know, going viral for being right. Pariahs. Do not see how people talk about and to men and think you can apply it to women. It won't work. It won't work. You're going to get in some serious trouble. So the people in Musa, this is a massive double standards and people who claim to them against and against are big time hypocrites. You're correct. Equality is a myth. It's a convenient argument used when people want to upper hand on some things. And when these debates come up, understand that a big chunk of the quote unquote man them, you know, the males, they're going to go from the female perspective because them love them love jump on social media and simp because them things so are now women are gonna DM them and say, Yeah, you see, you're a real man because I'm like when you said this and yeah man, you're a real man. That's what simps do, they panda. And then they hope that in return now them get some kind of you no know, they get paid in eagle eye. You don't have the consent to nothing. Any woman can do anything to you. And if you just like it. And if you don't like it, well I guess that means you're a sprat. Until I really say I trick them get tricked. And them criminology course and them gender studies course and all kind of course. Them say Iron Man, the patriarch and the pit. Them watch foreign people tell them about patriarch and take it up on the head. Them say Jamaica is a, is a patriarch who is trying to... Which patriarchy in history built a society where the women are more educated than the men? Which patriarchy in history built a society where the women are more educated than the men? In Jamaica, the women are more educated than the men. Did you know that? Jamaican women are more literate than Jamaican men on average. Did you know that? If you go to the various colleges and in the University of the West Indies and in place there, you will see female dominance. But that's not a problem. Just one of them thing there. Of course, if it was male, if the man and the master the owner of the woman, it would be a sign of injustice and inequality. But because it's the other way around, it's just one of them thing there. I deal with it. It's all narratives. Check the facts, it don't add up. You've heard that women are endangered in Jamaica, right? Women are in danger, like women are about to be wiped out. Where? Whether it's crime or natural causes, man did faster. Man did more. How long the matter tell them society don't care about men? Breast Cancer Awareness Month is a big month. Everybody put on them pink, whole buildings get turned in a pink. You see the ads them on the TV and the billboards constantly. Nothing is wrong with that. Great. Long may it continue. Breast cancer is a serious issue. It needs as much attention as it can get. Why hasn't the society that is supposedly a patriarchy where men only look out for men and men only do this and that? Remember, in a breast cancer awareness month, man wear pink to you know, man support breast cancer awareness month. But man don't even support them owner month. Man don't support this testicular cancer month. Woman definitely don't. Nobody cares about men and men's issues. Even tell them throwing one look at token. But sometimes they're throwing one token thing that they're like, okay, alright. This month is taking. But when I talk about it exists, I talk about people actually following it. 
Do you see nobody I follow up my testicular cancer? Or nearly cancer more affect men? Disproportionately. You don't see me talk to. Do you think women don't know when you're simping? Not because the man not and I say, yeah man, I like when you see a real man in the mind, like, look at this sim. Look at this clown. There's no way he can really believe this crap. I simp, the boy I simp on him, thinks me I give him like an eagle. That's what you're thinking of. He think me I give him like an eagle either. So this is why, I tell him, don't try and apply logic in this situation. Because logic will get you in trouble. As crazy as that sound, logic will get you in trouble because what you're doing is, you are going to watch and see people are support or go on with the female and the squaddy. And see people are say, yeah man, I just can't live on look of fun. And what the problem? And if you like it. So now you are going to apply logic and say, well, since we're equal, we can do the same to our female squaddy up and do that. You can't live too. You can't. And if you do, it will not be embraced the same way. It will not. Save yourself the trouble. Majority of Jamaican homes are made sure. That extends the wider society. This idea of them telling us that Jamaican men come together in groups to try to find ways to hold down and suppress women. I don't know which Jamaican one I talk about. See the one in, a, in a New York. All them things are by design. You know? When they come in and the first thing they start attack is the family. Because once they attack the family, the society is done. They turn everything upon its head. All this is by design. Just like with the entertainment and the music and the laws. One of those things say, all right, I just, I just buck ups. All the things are just buck ups. All this is by design. The Western society, in the West, in Western society, almost everything you see is by design. As crazy as that sound. In Western society, almost everything where you see is by design. That is why the West is Riddled with confusion. You know, say, I'll be a confusion. Up is down, left is right. Seed bag is no niggly. You can't wake up tomorrow and say, You feel like right, you're a nine year old girl. And a nine year old girl can't wake up tomorrow and say, You feel like right, she's a big man. Right? It's all confusion. It's by design. If you want. In the ancient days, when you wanted to destroy a society or a nation, you got your army and you invade and you just kill off the whole of them. And then the woman they left behind, the one they resist, then get raped off and killed. And the one they don't resist, get taken and carried to the new village and then them that fear woman them now. That's how it worked back in the old days. That's not how society get destroyed anymore. It's way more subtle now. Now they get destroyed via the school system. The things they are taught in school. The things they watch on TV. The music they listen to. That's how you destroy societies now. That's how you destroy families now. This is an all out attack. And not just logic and reason. But on the broader scale. The family, community and the nation. Because to destroy a nation. You don't need to bomb it. Just destroy right, the family. That is the nation. It goes home, community, nation. Home, community, nation. So you just destroy it. Any society you see with a home is in this area. The society as large is in this area. May I show you how powerful family is? And how if you can pull it together, you can save any nation from anything. I was listening to... Somebody who is a survivor of the Rwandan genocide. After the genocide, enough Pitney were left without parents. Just one bag of Pitney about the place. Pitney, Pitney, Pitney like dirt. People can't find fit in Pitney. So now, people who were appearing suddenly never had no Pitney card and Pitney dead. And Pitney, suddenly on appearance, got appearance dead. One of the ways how Rwanda turned it around. Now for the people who never have no, who did have Pitney and then Pitney dead, they started to adopt the Pitney from the community. They started to find homes 
for them pitney there. And suddenly, right, even though enough of them were basically adopted, I know say them times they nobody now got you know for legal practice. Man just taking pitney in their homes. Just by providing a roof and a structure around those children, Rwanda was able to come back from one of the worst atrocities in modern history. They re-established the family because the community said, all right, then Pitney can't just wander around the place. So, so now then Pitney are going to fall under our roof. And right, you over there, so Marva, you take them three here. Yeah. Right. Richie down the road, you take that two here. Yeah. Leroy, you take that one here. Yeah. Right. That's how they did it. The community started taking the Pitney them. People don't even know for Pitney, that's the Pitney. No Rwanda is a case study. That show you say when the family is intact, we might enough man woman dead, so you have to go find a new woman, a new him, woman and him pitney dead. So he adapt basically a next man woman and a next man pitney. Because it's not like say I don't know jacket thing or no or no man as genocide. But it's extraordinary circumstances, so it's not like you have to you have, I don't like somebody to take over fool. Right, that's not the case. You're pitting them gone, all the woman dead. A woman over there saw ball, she's no a widow. Right, they pick nobody saw ball, they know orphans. Come, we are a family. The Africans can do it, the Middle Eastern people can do it. Them claim so the West, rich and prosperous. But it's the most acidic part of the world. They go certain places in the world. Extreme poverty. But one thing I always realize, you know what they always have intact. Anytime you go anywhere in the world and see a community. Stable. Just check the community and check the family. Once that intact, they can overcome poverty, disease, famine, big sea, anything. So when they say them put certain things in the woman in ears, and this quote unquote gender war and all them foolishness there, it is to destroy the family. Because once you destroy the family, the community done and the nation done. Anyway, Ultra Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra Squad. Stay circling. Bless.